Hey guys, uh, I just thought I'd make a quick video regarding uh, some uh, fake components from uh, eBay. Uh, uh, this is quite an epidemic actually that's happening on uh, eBay where uh, fake components from Far East are um, basically getting advertised as the real components. And <laughs> Recently, I've been a victim of one, so I just thought maybe I share this beware video with you guys to make sure that uh, you guys don't even become a victim as well. So I'm working on a high current, uh, high voltage, high current power supply, uh, where I needed quite a bit of capacity uh, on my, uh, you know, on, uh, for filter capacitors. So I, I needed uh, high capacity capacitors. So I bought a couple of them for about uh, nineteen. Uh, dollars so each one about uh, I guess uh, eight dollars each I didn't pay for shipping but uh, anyway so they arrived recently so the value that I bought is uh, so if we take a look here uh, this one says uh, 8200 microfarads at 56 volts and it says for audio anyway so uh, this this component is fake and <laughs> The reason I know it's fake is, uh, first of all, it's uh, it's dead short. <laughs> so if you measure uh, across the terminals of the uh, the capacitor, then its value is completely short. Like you know, it's it's a dead short. So if we if I put here my f handy fluke here uh, directly across the terminals, so if I put it directly across the terminals, take a look what I read. 0.1 ohms so basically dead dead short uh, which is kind of annoying because you know like for nine dollars spent on this and uh, I, I got them and I I didn't really test them when I got them you know I, I, th I just thought it's just a passive component you know what's the thing that could go wrong with it right well obviously <laughs> a lot could go wrong with it so I had it on my uh, on my count you know on my um, storage area just sitting there for a long time maybe about a couple months and the you know it's a dead short so it's useless to me I can't even claim the money back from eBay because you know the you know the time has passed quite a you know a long time that it's so this this is you know so basically um, nine dollars going down the drain so actually I would have rather bought like uh, you know properly rated capacitor from some of the uh, uh, reliable uh, outlets maybe DG key or any other reliable sources you know even my uh, handy LCR meter reads uh, short you know just to double check I'm gonna put that on there too so if we do that Okay, so there we go. As you can see, on the capacitance range, it doesn't read anything. As you can see, but the ESR of the capacitor, which you know, well, not really, <laughs> it's what we read basically a short, as you can see, and the value. Is zero so if I change it to inductance to make sure that it's actually reading a short you can see that it's a zero micro Henry's right you know this definitely you know this this capacitor is no good if you read resistance directly then you can see RS is 0 0.0159 ohms but yeah anyway so I'm making this video just uh, a beware kind of thing for for you guys uh, just to make sure that you know you rather go buy uh, from reliable sources, you know. I know they might be expensive, but I know you'll have something that's rated properly and you don't have to deal with, you know, crap like this, right? It's just uh, terrible, right? Um, and, you know, I could have just bought maybe instead of two, I could have just spent the $90 on one at least and I'll find that, you know, the what I get will be working, right? So that's what I should have done. And, you know, a lot of people... Uh, 
are actually avoiding eBay for this sort of thing because, you know, for a long time, the active components like transistors, op amps, they've been faking them. People know about it, so they don't buy anymore. Now it's happening all the passives too. You know, people used to buy passives from, passives from eBay, but now, you know, just just not worth it anymore right so anyway so i'm just making this video to make sure that you guys beware make sure that you know you don't get a uh, substandard product like this from ebay okay anyway thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you next video thank you bye